Hey YouTube, if you want to find out how to make this beautiful maxi dress, please stay tuned for this tutorial. Hey YouTube, it's Charisma and I have another tutorial for you. I want to make another maxi dress today. I love maxi dresses because they're easy to, you know, you just throw it on and you look really nice and you didn't have to really put that much effort into it. So, I have this jump, this romper that I actually did, um, I made two um, tutorials using this romper. I made a jumpsuit and I made another romper. I want this cut for the top portion of my um, maxi dress. And then the bottom part, you know, it's just going to be a straight up dress. So I just wanted to show you that if you have a t-shirt, you know, that you like the fit of it and the shape, you can use that as a pattern to make just about anything that you want to make in terms of dresses, tops, and everything like that, or jumpers and rompers. See, I made a pattern with mine using this piece. And because my first jumper that I did was a little bit big, um, because I cut it big, if I want it smaller, I cut it in the, in half so that I could overlap it and make it s as small as I want. And then if I wanted to make it bigger for someone else, I could take it out and it would still have this same shape. So that's what I want to do with this one. So I'm going to take the pattern that I made and then I'm going to kind of try to fit it up with this. I like the size of this romper. I got it from H&M. It's a size 6. And it's a little bit baggy, so I like it. Um, and I want it to be close in size to this. Okay, YouTube, so I have it set up now where um, it's exactly the size that I want it to be. Also, you can put marks on your pattern so you could know where one inch is, two inch is, where one inch is would be two inches three inches, four inches, like that. So that when you, if you need to make it smaller, then you'll know you'll have an accurate measure of it. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut um, out the top part first. And I'm leaving some room at the top because I know that's the part I'm gonna hem and also put over because it's gonna be scrunchy at the top. Okay. And I'll leave about a half an inch seam allowance. Because this pattern was cut out small or big rather. And I really want this dress to fit me nicely. And thank you to all my wonderful subscribers who have left such wonderful comments telling me that I have inspired them to take out their sewing machine and start sewing. That is such a wonderful thing. Um, if you haven't tried sewing before, I would highly recommend giving it a try because it is so fun. You have no idea, you know, what is it, what you can make and what talent that you have that you just would never know unless you gave it a try. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, you already have your dress cut out. You see that? Okay, so your next step now is that you're going to take pins, and I already did this. From the underarm and pin all the way down and you do the same thing on the other side from the underarm all the way down now you can try it on while the pins are on it so you can see if the length is what you want it to be and if it's not you can make those adjustments and then when you're done take it to your sewing machine you could stitch all the way down um you could do it on a zigzag since this is stretchy material and then after that you're going to hem the bottom. So take it to your machine, stitch all the way down, try it on first, then stitch it down, then hem your bottom. And how you're going to hem the bottom is you're going to take it, as you can see, you'll fold it over one half an inch, and then you'll fold it over another half an inch, and then you'll stitch all the way around that. So you go ahead and do that, and um, we don't have much left. You have to hem your armholes, and then I'll show you how to do the top portion. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add elastic to the middle yet. I'm going to try it on and see. Okay, YouTube. I am back with the dress. And you should have stitched down your sides. And um, hemmed your bottom. Hem your armholes. I made a mistake and I didn't hem my armholes first. But it's okay. So now we're getting to the part where you have your neckline. And what I want for this dress is to have the drawstring at the top part. So that 
if you can see the dress here, it'll pull it, scrunch it up like this, and then you see I want it to have that kind of effect. You kind of can see it there. This is the top portion of my dress. So what you would do to do that when you get to your top, I already did mine already, so you, let's pretend I didn't do it. You would take your fabric, fold it over one time, and then you're going to place pins. Because what you're doing, let's make believe, I'm going to place my pins here and place them here. What you're doing is you're making a loop or like a casing so that you can take your drawstring and pull it all the way through. Now I already did mine so I'm gonna quickly go over it with you again. You're gonna take a safety pin on your string, right? You're gonna put it at the end and then you're gonna take it and place it through the casing that you've already made and so that you could feel it going all the way through. You put it in, you feel the safety pin, and you're just like pulling it all the way through, all the way through, all the way through until it comes out. Now mind, I'm not gonna place elastic around the the uh, the waist. I made um, a string, a belt for my waist, and um, how you do that is you're gonna have scrap fabric after you're done cutting out the sides of the dress. So you're gonna take your scrap fabric, let's make believe that this is it. You'll cut it out, you'll be able to know just by looking like how long you want it or whatever. You're gonna take it inside out, right? And then you're gonna fold it over inside out like this, right? See that? And then you're just gonna place pins all along the side and then you're gonna stitch down so you'll have your long um, belt, right? Or drawstring. And then you're just gonna use the same technique by taking the needle, oh, I'm sorry, the safety pin, putting it on and then trying to pull it out the opposite way and then it's just gonna come out like this. So I'm gonna finish all of that and you're basically done with your dress. I'm gonna come back and show you how I styled it. And I hope that this tutorial was helpful. This looks like a beautiful dress. I love this fabric. Um, what I'm gonna do is see if I can make this fabric available for you guys because you guys have been asking about the fabric. And um, I'm gonna look into that. Just inbox me if you're interested in purchasing this fabric. I'm pretty sure uh, the fabric store that I went to around my waist still has some, so we'll see. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my fashion channel, Charisma For You Fashion, and my main channel, Charisma For You. Anyone interested in custom orders, please inbox me because I have been making some. And thanks to all those who purchased dresses. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.